driving around Iraq these days, you still go without a guard? I drive around to Baghdad. I mean, I, I don't have gu armed guards. I have two cars, uh, and I sit in the back of one, uh, and I make sure they're cars that look sort of kind of dirty so they fit in to the Iraqi street scene. And then a second car behind, which is to see uh, if anybody's following us, paying too much interest. We just have hand radios. Uh, and also if something happened to our car that we could run back to the second the one behind us. We don't carry guns. If, uh, you know, if you're going to be attacked, you're going to be attacked by, you know, a dozen guys with uh, submachine guns, you know, so a few pistols aren't going to do you any good um, and make, uh, make, make life difficult. Uh, so I move around, but I mean, it's always, you know, it's very carefully. Um, you, you really can't, uh, Iraq is very merciless on mistakes. Um, and I go around the center of Baghdad, but I'm always careful where I go. You know, there are checkpoints everywhere. Now that in some ways makes you more secure, but who exactly is manning these checkpoints? Uh, who are they working for? You hope for the government. Most of them are working for the government, but you're not sure about that. Uh, and Iraqis feel the same way. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it kind of makes my blood boil or go cold or whatever. I mean, when I sort of hear people give the impression that things have come right in Baghdad, uh, you know, and people say, oh, the National Theatre has reopened. And, uh, yes, it has, but this is not important compared to the fact there's no electricity, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, it's still a very grim place to, to live. Um, the, uh, you know, it's been pushed to the margins by the uh, U.S. election, by the belief the surge somehow succeeded, um, the, by the uh, economic crisis. But still, still, this is a great big war with a great big American army there. And, of course, people, <laughs> what's extraordinary is people say to me, oh, the surge has succeeded. I sometimes appear people in the green zone. They, they say, oh, things are getting much better, uh, restaurants reopening, ice cream parlors. Somebody did this the other day. And, but my question was, you know, uh, excuse me, but have you been out of the green zone? Of course, they haven't. And if they do, very occasionally, it's with, you know, it's with an armored column. The other thing, just one point if I could make, yeah. people who say the surge succeeded, but how come that more American tr troops are required after the surge than before the surge? if things are so going so well. And of course they are. That's why that's why you need more troops after. This is really a mirage.